Hi folks, there's one piece I forgot to emphasize that I wanted to add on to right now. Is that if we're working on a system that says that there's only very few good jobs, uh, and that we all need to compete for them, and that our job is to climb the ladder so we can get to those good spots, um, what we're forgetting is that there's a whole bunch of jobs that we've considered lesser jobs or less important um, that we depend on, that are the basis of our economy. And we've talked a lot about how we intend to solve poverty with education. Remember the part where we're thinking about root causes of problems is that kind of the way we tend to solve them tells us what we think the problem is. So if we intend to solve poverty through education, we're kind of implying that people are poor because they didn't get an education. The problem with that thinking is not recognizing that we have a system that is dependent on having a lot of jobs that need to get done um, that are low skilled, officially that's what they're called, that don't require a college degree even though they require a lot of skill. Um, we use this notion of lack of education to justify having folks working in terrible working conditions with very low pay um, and then we say well if you don't like that you should get a degree so you can get out of that spot. And that's the question of, if everybody had a master's degree tomorrow, would that solve poverty? What we got to think of is that there's a lot of jobs that we need as a society. People who are going to plant the food and pick the food and clean the things. And they are a vital part of a society that we can't do without. So if everybody had a master's degree, who would be doing the cleaning and picking the fruit? Who would be doing the planting? That kind of gets us to recognize that this fantasy doesn't actually work that if we all got to get ourselves out of that spot, somebody would still need to do that work. And so instead of thinking that you individually should figure out a way to climb out of that spot for yourself, we gotta think that we gotta kinda bring everybody's level up so that all of the jobs have dignity and good working conditions, so that everybody can actually live on the money they make from a job. All of the jobs, not just some of the jobs. We've been trained to think of just looking out for ourselves to make sure that we can get to those nice benefits, to make sure that we can get those extra perks, instead of recognizing that these should be the basic working conditions for absolutely everybody, not just the fancy jobs, everybody's jobs. And I wanted to also bring up this little image, which is the notion of one big fish with lots of power who's chasing around all the little fish. But if we get organized, we can actually shift the power balance and say even though we're little, there are so many of us that collectively we have enough power to push back on power. Have a good week.